I'm going to do an exercise for Mahjong competition rules. If you are new to this version, there is a link in the video description below to an introduction and to this player reference. In here, you'll find all the fawn. Fawn are the scoring elements. There are 81 scoring elements. This is why I like to do random pulls to practice identifying fawn in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, starting with East Round. We'll roll these dice to determine which player we are, just to keep the variables fresh. I rolled a six, two, four, six. That would be South. We're going to be in south seat, and it's east round. Two flowers. These are bonus tiles. These are not included in your eight point minimum. We have one BAM, three cracks including a pair. We have seven dots and single dragons. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If this were my dealt hand, I would play a half flesh, sacrifice the sixes. I'd probably keep them for a little while because we do have another pair, but starting off with two pair, I would not consider all pung. I've been told a good guideline for all pung is four pair from the beginning. We only have two, but we have a lot of dots. One, two, three, chow, potential four, five, six, if we get a seven dot or an eight dot, we could maybe do a pure straight. Pure straight is a really nice fawn. Pure straight is number 28, and that is 16 fawn. I would discard these first. Shoot for half flush, maybe pure straight. See if we could pair up these for extra score. Two points each for a pung of dragons, so we would need to pair up and pung. But I would focus on dots, maybe that pure straight. South round. We're in seat one since I rolled a five. Here's our dealt hand. Kong of one bams. We do have other bams. Pair of sixes in dots, three single cracks, and a pair of south winds. It's the south round. We're in east seat. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my dealt hand, I think I would focus on a half flesh and hold the dots to see if we pair up. Discard these first. Pung here, wind of the round. Here's a pung, potential chow, potential chow. One, two, three, four blocks. All we need is another block for a pair. Pung, pung, chow, chow, we need a pair. 
hold this for as long as possible to see if we pair up and switch to all pung, in which case we could do mixed suits and discard these first. Half flush with bams or all pung. I think that's how I would play this. If we did all pung, I would declare this, but I wouldn't do it until we had another pair in here. If the pair were bams, I would go for a half flush, I think, and sacrifice the six. Here we could pung, chow, chow. All we need are bams. Another bam for a pair. We could even be waiting on a pair, and this would be concealed. Five discards to a half flesh. But we're the dealer, so one of these discards starts the game. I rolled a seven, that would be west. And it is west round. We have a one, two, three chow in dots, four bams, including a pair, two, three, five, six in cracks, single wins, east, west. We're in west seat and it is the west round. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I would discard the honors and the one, focus on simples and do mixed double chow in two suits. And in this case, it would be, let's see, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. That's two mixed double chows. Mixed double chow is one point. So that would be number 70. So that would be two points. All simples is number 68 and that is two points. So that's four. No honors would be five. Here's a pair. I think we would have to do it concealed for two points. That's number 62, concealed, two points. So that's seven. And then our weight would need to be edge closed or single weight. We have our pair here. So we would need to plan it so that we have either an edge or a closed weight, maybe here, six bam. Cause this is a side weight, side weight, side weight. We would need the six bam for our weight and that would be eight points. All simples, mixed double chow twice, concealed, closed weight. That would be eight points. There is a little bit of a potential for a mix shifted chows. One, two, three, two, three, four, four, five, six. Really light here though. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. That's what it would be. One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. If we could get a four bam or a three bam mixed straight might be good. Mixed straight is number 39 and that is eight points. 
Either way, we didn't use the east-west, so that's where I would discard first. And just see what comes in. If two through eight comes in, focus on all simples and the mixed double chows. Hmm, okay. North round. I rolled a four, so we're going to be in north seat. North seat. Single ma'am, single crack, four, five dots, lots of honors, including a pair. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I would go for a half flesh. Discard these. Here's a chow. Potential chow. Potential pung. We're in north round. We're in north seat. I would hold this. Probably discard the south after these. Because these can all bring us value. Half flesh valued honor. That's what I would shoot for here. We would need to pair up and pung one of these at minimum. Two, three, four, four, five, six. That's a, let's see here. Is that a, let's see. Oh, I was thinking pure shifted chows. But that's three blocks. We only have two. Two, three, four, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could do one, two, three, four, five, six for a short straight. Two chows running consecutively in a six tile straight in one suit, short straight. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I would try for that. That is number 71, one point. So half flush, number 50, six points. Short straight, one point, seven. And then a valued honor, eight, nine. Half flush, short straight, valued honor, pung. I think that's what I would shoot for here. Let's see, someone did mention to me about knitted straight, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. I don't think I would do that here. We only have two single offsuit tiles. I would focus on a half flush. My favorite. If you are new to this version, try random pulls at home if you have a set. It's a great way to learn all the scoring elements. Pull random tiles for your dealt hand and try to identify what you would play. You got to have eight points to win, so have this player reference with you when you do the exercise. If you need a set, look for a link in the video description below. There's one I highly recommend from Gammon Village. Not sponsored. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click this little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. 
between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. May all your picks be keepers.